the 18-year-old purple belt in jiu-jitsu earned her final spot, the uh, rare naked choke victory yesterday over Team Tajikistan. No easy feat in submitting Team Tajikistan, but Borzisovs got pulled through and got the job done. Junior women's bantamweight gold on the line here between Team Belgium and Team Poland. Inez Bulbaj from Team Belgium in the blue corner, her opponent. Daria Bratazowska from Team Poland in the red. Both ladies making their second appearance in the cage this week. Bratazowska has great boxing. You can see before she came out to the fight, she was real eager to get busy, eager to land those hands. She's going to set these hands up here, though. Got to be careful about running what forward, that? though. She changes levels for the double leg. Yeah, great job by versus Oscar creating those expectations on the feet and then immediately in on the hips, but Boulevard pretty to it. Now fighting off the takedown attempt of versus Oscar using those underhooks very well. Getting her off back off the cage now. Big knee from Bratislav Scott sneaks in the left hook. Team Belgium sneaking in that left hook close range alley. That's what I like, the striking in the dead space between the takedown attempts. Absolutely super underrated. I mean, you see several people earn themselves very impressive victories off of those dead space encounters. Now we're seeing Brzezovska insisting on the takedown, but Bola Barge doing a good job, staying upright, getting that leg free. Now with the counter wrestling of her own, earning herself double underhooks against the cage. Very good spot to be in if you're Team Belgium. Well, now Brzezovska digs in her an underhook of her own. Probably going to look to hip out towards that underhook. Warning there from the referee from Brzezowska. Fingers in the cage again warns. Sometimes it's difficult to keep those fingers out with regards to the curved gloves that point the fingers down, sometimes get caught in the cage. Lubaj turns it to the outside. Bulabaj working with that underhook. So far has not level changed or worked any sort of offense towards the hips of Brzezowska. Just looking to keep the Polish woman here up against the cage, working the knees and shoulders for that matter. Lubaj heavy with that lead shoulder as well, driving in. Going to be a case of underhooks though for both athletes. Otherwise they're just going to switch between taking the outside position in this 50-50. Big knee from Bulabaj again doubles up. Oh, switch knee for Bulabaj. Brzezowska looking for that outside trip, though. Both athletes. Oh, heavy knee from Bulabaj. Wow. Those knees are starting to accumulate. And what a way to end the round. That huge knee to the breadbasket there for Bulabaj. And as you were saying, they were fighting for the outside position against the cage. But in the end, it was the Polish woman who found herself most with her back against the cage on the receiving end of several knees. You'd have to assume those knees are doing damage both to the gas tank but also to the body of Berzinsovska. Yeah, Bilbao's just going to use those knees to her advantage, especially when Berzinsovska comes forward for the strike. She's going to be careful when she changes levels because there's no knees allowed to the head. But if she can get hands on the inside of the biceps, of Brzezowska, if she comes forward, she can sink that knee in, much like we saw Lea Machida finish T Ortiz back in the day. What a throwback that is. And they see a second round now. 
Let's see if Borzazowska finds success with her takedown attempts. Does not want to end up with her back up against the cage. Thanks to the counter wrestling of Team Belgium. Round two on tap here. Three minutes on the clock. Team Belgium versus Team Poland for the Bantamweight Junior Final. Lubarch here firing those punches. Borzowska looking for the slip as she... Oh, oh up wow. Big left uppercut there. Drops Borzowska just briefly. You're seeing Bolivar very confident now in her striking ability. Used the entire first round to soften up Brzezovska. But Brzezovska able to close the distance, although ending up in a very unfavorable position now. Digging those knees does Bolivar yet again. Now aiming for the legs as well. She's got the double on the hooks here, does Bolivar. She's a better affordance to secure the takedown. Better go in favor of the knee here. Brzezovska yeah, doing Bulabarsi. a good job of defending. She does indeed, and Bulabarsi is very satisfied in keeping this position, keeping her opponent here up against the cage, just firing off those knees. Brzezovska lifting that leg up there to negate the knees. I'd like to see a circle as that knee comes, potentially catch it throughout the takedown. The problem with lifting that knee up to try and shield is the opposite side leg is your own only, only basal point, so it makes the takedown a little bit easier. Real heavy short shots there from Bolobaj. Oh, look at that. There's Ozovska pulls guard. Bolobaj kicking on the outside. Let's Brzezovska back up to the feet. Didn't want to have to nope. go into the guard there of Brzezowska from Poland. Yeah, no interest in engaging the f in the fight on the ground for Bulabarge. Nice single, low single there f from Brzezowska. Nice timing him. from Brzezowska. Yeah, she's just not getting... Get yeah, she's unable to get this full snatch of the leg issue. Now with the cage behind Bullabarge. Oh, she gets the single. She's got to take advantage here, though, Ali. She's got to command this top position. Oh, she walks into the triangle. Wow, look at this. This could be trouble for Brzezowska. Bullabarge is going to be looking to angle out, perhaps. Finding a home for those strikes off of the back. Bullabarge had success when she was throwing strikes. Hammerfist in particular in the spot and position, because that's going to... Make Brzezowska put the head down to try and hide it, which then gives the triangle to Bulabar. So this is, you can see there, she's slowly contorting the angle. Looks like the last eight seconds here in round two. Bulabar's looking for the finish. Heavy ground of power from that bottom position, Ali. Something we don't usually see. Uh, interesting stuff here from Bulabar. Using these clinching positions, submission positions, all of these positions are only a, w a vehicle for her to fire off those shots, scoring those points. Of course, hoping to get that submission victory there in the end. But if not, at least he scored some points, got some damage done. Impressive stuff from Team Belgium. Fight taking its toll here for Poland's Brzezowska. Now, what do you do in Brzezowska's position? Now, you know you want to take the fight to the ground. You found yourself on the, up, on the defensive side of a triangle choke. Well, shooting the single or the double, leaving yourself to fall into the guard is precarious. So if she shoots a double, she's got to make sure that she tries to command and lands inside control, a dominant position. You could definitely argue the case here that Brzezowska needs a finish. And to do that on the feet is somewhat problematic, given she hasn't had success close range with the battle. So if she does get the takedown, she's got to get into a better position where she can land more definitive ground and pound or chase a submission. Third and final round here, Ali. Three minutes on the clock. Going to see Bulabaj pour the pressure on as she comes forward. There's a shot, low single shot there from Brzezowska, shaken off by Bulabaj. Yeah, making her attentions very clear here, does Brzezowska. Even though very obvious what she's trying to do, finding some success so far, getting in on the hips. Let's see Bulabaj doing a good job working with the hips, creating distance to separate the grip here of Brzezowska. And now looking to put the barrage on on Brzezovska does team Belgium's 
into the body from Boulevard again. She's an expert at this close range with the short shots and the heavy knees to the bread basket here. Pushes Oscar on wobbly feet due to those knees to the body. She takes a back step, eats another right hand, shoots in, misses, rolls through. Top position here for Boulevard. There's a class from Daria Brzezowska. The problem with this, though, Ali, she's holding Boulevard in this top position. She is, and you can see the fatigue setting in. She knows what she wants to do, but she's just unable to find any success. Team Belgium's Boulevard now cashing in on those knees to the bread basket, just slowing the pace down of Brzezowska, rendering her takedown ability rather obvious and predictable great framing work there by Bolivar she pushes the head away to create space for the strikes consistently dragging that leg out of that position but she's obviously just going to try and run the takedown here if she secures the single she's going to use her feet to run towards to chase the double but gives up potential side control trying to regard for the armbar Fight taking its toll here on both athletes. Brzezowska taking this opportunity to regain some of that auction debt. Referee wants it back to defeat. Yeah, look at the regain composure. Does Brzezowska perhaps catch her breath a bit? But Bulla Barge not rushing to engage either. As you were saying, fatigue setting in. And Berzozovska, super tough, staying in this fight. And Bola Barge, I have to imagine, is wondering now how come she can't put this girl away. She's got 30 seconds to do so. Bola Barge, noticeably fatigued, takes a back step, looks for a lazy jab. Bola Barge could look for that uppercut. She comes in. Oh, heavy hammer fist from the top position. 10 seconds left to work here for Berzozovska. A tall order for the Polish. It is Boulevard with a stellar performance, stayed away from the takedowns. A somewhat fatigued team Poland's Brzezowska consistently fighting for the takedowns, but it was the striking element here for team Belgium. And her ability to sprawl and brawl as well. She commanded the top spot for numerous times. She flew up the triangle as well for that bottom position. I think just a better performance from Boulevard in all areas. Certainly, and a, a strategic from the get-go. You saw her catch, catch the clinch, catch the double underhooks up against the cage, and typically we'd see people fighting to get to, into the hips, get the fight to the ground, but she just kept her there, created some expectations, and as she was expecting the takedown, she was just eating those knees. You saw Brzezowska suffer the damage of those knees now in the third round. There you have it, Team Belgium. You have yourself a junior women's 